Oh, oh, that's not the correct car I wanted to start with. Let's get in the payload. Alright, switch to the payload. And let's get started. With the... Our next little segment of the game. Let's just head to another Eve. But first see if there's any cars in... At Sweeney's that I could, uh... Potentially upgrade to. Yeah, it's kind of weird, Reaper. Again, it saddens me greatly that I had to turn it off, but... Welcome... Welcome to, uh... Fucking copyright... Death. Alright, so we got another Coyote, Palo, Ocelot, which is... Yeah. There's a Gorilla, which is... Same durability as the Coyote, just... Slightly to higher top speed. And we have the Hunter. Looks really good. But it's also really expensive. Let's see, 147. Car is worth. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that. I absolutely cannot afford that. Okay. Nope, oh, I'm going to stick with the payload for now, I guess. So. I mean, that'd be millions of copyright lawsuits, Peter, so that wouldn't help. Anyways, time for our next Eve, rank 85. Let's go to Crunch Time Hampton. Well, getting our payload. And, uh... Sorry, feel strange watching GT like this. Yeah. Base YouTube out of China. But then we would be, honestly, we'd be censored even worse. Tex Babcock, what a name. Alright, Tex. See if your cock can keep up with this. Yeah, this is the compromise I am forced to take, as much as I don't want to. Thing is, it's not just YouTube, if, like, Twitch's, uh, system, like, catches the, uh, copyrighted music as well, they'll, you know, mute part of the VOD. Or, like, that part of the VOD. Let's see, we are going left. Oh, oh, it's a chicane. Oh. I actually don't remember the interest to this place. Apparently, uh, Tex doesn't either. I barely beat him. Got 125 rep, and we've unlocked Hastings, uh, in action mode with that. Yeah, he cocked it up. <laughs> oh! So here we are at... Where are we? Can't remember. Shit. This looks like a... Is this a Noka? Oh god, we're starting with a whip around. This looks like a Noka to me. Oh, Hampton? Are you sure? This looks very much like it. Okay. Reminds me of DTR. Ooh. Also, we have 10 competitors in this Eve as opposed to 8. Which means these, this whip around is going to be even more crazy. Oh, get fucked, everyone. Get fucked, everyone. When Denison. Uh, actually, Denison is in this game, so. Soon dot. Uh, yeah, soon TM. Fucking danger at Denison, don't remind me. Hoi! Hi, how you doing? See, I went for the cool strat of trying to, like, do the whip around, like, you know, waste his little, like, yeah. Do the whip around as quick as possible, this guy's just like, fucking yay! Where'd he go? Oh shit. I it was the leader who choked because I just fucked up big time. Oi! Oh, I have super fucked up. I'm still in second, by the way. Nope, not anymore. Well shit. Uh no, it's not Supra. Since the only thing you get 
from hits and kills is like extra rep and also extra money at the end of the eve. It's only beneficial. I mean, I guess, well, yeah. And then this shit happens where, um, fuck. And please. All right, well, we're starting at 65 points. Got two hit bars though, so I guess there's that. So there we go. Apparently points only go down to 8th, that's interesting. Oh, wasn't expecting that. So Joey Conklin, Conk, and Dean Quincy have taken the advantage on me. Boo Hadley, these are some great names, let me get, let me tell you. Alright, so, for that, race number 2, figure 8 jump race. I'm going to have to repair the payload. Yeah, again, it costs more to repair the car within the EVE, so, like, a lot more. But, uh, I'm, mm. I'm going to spend the 19 bucks to repair it to, like, 74%, so, 75%, whichever the game wants to display. Just enough to where it's, you know, not completely fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bigger jump race! Just don't crash, little mouth. Yeah, about that. We we're uh, doing a figure eight jump race. Conklin's bad for it. What the fuck? This fucking dude in front of me going all eye racing and just kind of lagging behind here at the start. Yeah. Oh, that guy's fucked. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I have mounted a man. <laughs> you hate- Oh! <laughs> they both rolled their cars off of that freaking trailer. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That was fantastic. Get this fucking hay bale out of my way. Come on, I need more people in to roll over the trailer. I'm only in third. Now playing mount your friends. This is why this game is so great, because the AI just... So much crazy shit happens. It doesn't even have to happen to you. This is... Yeah. I had a feeling the car was going to spin. Come on, I need the leaders to crash. Ah, uh, they do need to egg. Very much need to egg. Uh, you wouldn't, Supra, that's how. And before this is gonna be my first, like, restart. Damn it, this guy's a back marker. Oh well. Wait for it. And Cletus. <laughs> and Cletus. <laughs> uh, that's never not gonna be funny. God damn, I moved up to second in the Eve at least, so I beat whoever the fuck. Conklin. He finished seventh, it looks like. Or last or eighth, excuse me. So uh I'm up to second. 30 points behind Boo Hadley. Boo! Hopefully I can get the win here in Red Rover. Because that's our next race. Well, race. We're just about ready to start. Driver, don't be bashful about using your car to give you an advantage. You've got bumpers, use them. <laughs> you got bumpers, use them. Yes. So this is Red Rover. Um... Yeah, we, we raced from one uh, square to another. The last person to make it to the uh, square is eliminated. If you're in the square and you move out of the square, you get disqualified. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So, let's go. 
Red Rover, Red Rover, I send Cletus over. It's all about surviving. Not being the last one to enter the enter the square. In good shape right now. And I got the win. Easy. And that's Red Rover. Simple. Simple. <laughs> it's, especially when it's down to the last two, it's very easy. Like, if you're the first, like in the final three, if you're the first to reach the, the zone, uh, getting the win is easy because you'll already have the advantage, like, on the other person. So that was Red Rover. Pretty quick, pretty fun. And that's, uh... Boosted me into the lead of the Eve by 40 points over at Joey Conk Lynn. So, woo. That leads us to our final event, a push-off. So, you know what that means? It's coyote time. Push-off. Push Here we go. All these guys look like their cars are in already pretty bad shape with all the smoke and the missing bumpers and oh my god. Well, rip whoever died in all that. Here's like the only AI car still in decent shape. Back here. Alright, he's just gonna eat around. Okay getting moderately bullied, but at least I'm staying within the, like, well in the ring. Aha, fuck you. Shit. Oh, oh. Push him out, push him out, push him out. Don't push me out. Oh, that actually counted as out of bounds. Alright, cool. Boom. Back here, Jake. See ya. <laughs> I win. I super win. Yes. Well, thank you, Coke Soda, for the host. You done it. Jake died. Yes. Four hundred fifty rep. Boom. Let's see if uh, Jesus. You know what? Sure. That'll work. There we go. I won. <laughs> After a pretty uh, crazy start, got the win. Got the W. So $272 total. 750 rep. And there are your standings. Beat Boo Hadley by 120 points in the end. Very good. And hey, everybody got on the board, so there's that. It. So, woo. And now it's time for another video. The chain race basically starts out as uh, two cars chained together with a 20 foot chain. The back car, usually their engine doesn't run, it's just the uh, front of the car is allowed to run. It's like being on an out of control roller coaster ride. You got that added element of unpredictability of the extra driver. If you're not on the same page, you'll be making a left, the other guy will be doing a right around the corner. Tail cars like being on a kite string. If it's nutty, if it's crazy, it says on the shirt, redneck rodeo, and that's what it is. Redneck Rodeo indeed. So yeah, chain racing. That's pretty great. Arcade, you need to stop. Like, just stop doing that. Um, also, I agree, Reaper. This is 
one of the best racing games ever. Definitely the best uh, derby racing game, that's for sure. Oh, hey, train tracks are closed. All right, tracks are no longer open to racers, but we have a new area, the back roads. Head out past TJ's, get to your next event. Okay. So there we go. Also, we've unlocked the infield to run time trials through the infield, aka this little quarry here, which we'll be doing at some point. There are two gates with different challenges. Nice. So, congratulations, you are now ranked 80th. The infield racing area is open, car upgrades are available, challengers are waiting at Troy's place, and more challengers have arrived at TJ's. So, we have our total career winnings, which is $1,000. We made a whole $1,000 so far tonight. In 1.33 hours, we've raced four eaves and one four out of the 25 available. So, do that. We've unlocked another eve. Here's our career reputation and money. Right, let's save our progress. Console number one, uh, PS2. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 2. So, there is that. So let me just uh, go ahead and repair my cars. Why not? So seven bucks for the Coyote. And nine bucks for the uh, the Palo. Palo's at a 12% irreparable now. Oh my. Hopefully I'll be able to replace it. So we have a new goal now. We've reached rank 80. We must, our next goal is to reach rank 50. Oh boy. But here we are. So we passed Jeff Gaines, Gary Strike, Sparky Fritzk. Fritzky. Fred Smith. Andrew Hynek in that last eve. I just like reading these names. That's why I keep doing it. So, there we go. Made <laughs> made $142 from the races in that last eve. But that is that. That was crunch time at Hampton. So now, we're going to move on and uh, explore some other things that we've unlocked. Whoa. <laughs>